Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. The glasses are wise guys. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to be looking at today is the exponents and this is uh, some more questions and answers. So uh, again, just a reminder that we can only combine um, exponents that have the same base and it's a good idea or we should be showing our answers with positive exponents. So here we have 3 times ay cubed and that is raised to the power of 5. And it's just the piece in the brackets, right, that's raised to the power of 5. So what this um, power of 5 does is we have uh, it, it's uh, attached to both the a and to the y. So it looks like this. 3, we end up with a to the power of 5. So the 5 goes on there. And then y cubed also has a power of 5. So, and remember that this A has a power of 1 to it, or above it. So this is essentially A, power of 1, and that 1 is multiplied by the 5 to give us A to the power of 5. Now, let's, let's just rewrite this. So we have 3A. Now again, this is y cubed raised to the power of 5, and what we do is we take the 5 and multiply it by 3. And if you can't remember why, go back to the videos that explain the basics of exponents. So the 3 is multiplied by the 5, and we have y, oh sorry, almost forgot our 5 here, and this is y to the 15. And that's our final answer. 3, a to the 5th, y to the 15th. Now, we have to think about what we have here. We have 3 times x to the power of 0. What is x to the power of 0? Anything to the power of 0 is 1. doesn't matter how weird it is, how strange. 4x squared to the power of 0 equals 1. So anything to the power of 0 equals 1. So then this is essentially 1. So what we have then is 3 times 1, which is 3. And don't forget, we have 3x to the 0. It's not 3x that's raised to the power of 0. It's only the x. So only the x becomes a 1, not the whole thing. So this is our answer. Our answer is 3. Last question. Now just as we talked about here in this question, we have a y cubed raised to the power of 5 and everything in here had to be have that of 5 attached to it. So the 1 was multiplied by the 5 and became a to the 5. And the 3 multiplied by the 5 and became y to the 15. So the same thing happens if you're dealing with the division. So here we have a cube and every single thing in here is cubed. Now there's a couple of ways you could approach this. You can see that we have a 2p squared q divided by a pr and the whole thing is cubed. So if you wanted to, you could deal with the p first before you deal with the cubed. And frankly, it doesn't matter which way you go, but I'm inclined to deal with the p first, so that's what I'm going to do. So I have p to the power of 1 down here, and I have p squared up here. So using the shortcut, I'm just going to get rid of this p and get rid of one of the p's up here, and that leaves me with p to the power of 1 up here. So I'm just going to rewrite it so I'm clear. So I have 2pq over r, and it's all 
cubed. Now I cube everything inside the brackets. Okay, so this becomes 2 cubed, P cubed, Q cubed, and R cubed. And 2 cubed is 8, so we end up with 8 P cubed, Q cubed, all over R cubed. And this is the final answer. Okay, so that was pretty good. And that was brought to you by Wise Guys, the Learning Assistance Center, Red River College. Have a great day.